everyone in Manchester got the flaming builders in. I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, it's just that uh, all the builders I talk to, they, they just laugh at me. It's as if I'd said I wanted a pyramid building. You wouldn't think they'd be so busy this time of the year. Oh, they are, if they're any good. What am I going to do? Can you do it yourself? Oh, well, I don't know what needs doing when, do I? I need a professional. And I could do without this inquest. Well, that won't take long. At least it didn't when I went to Brian's. Oh, of course. You've been before, haven't you? Will they cut him up and do lots of forensic tests on that? Oh, that was stupid. Oh, it's, it's an inquest, David, not a post-mortem. No, there will have been a post-mortem, circumstances being what they were. What do you mean? Well, they want to be sure there was no foul play. We don't know what happened to Dougie before we found him. So, will we have to give evidence? I should think so, yeah. Be up to the coroner. I didn't realise there was so much to it. What do you think if I went back into teaching? Are you serious? Well, I'm thinking about it, yeah. Supply teaching. Charlie Ramsey says they're crying out for people. I think it's a champion idea, Ken. A proper job, instead of wasting your time with books that nobody reads. <laughs> Actually, it was writing the book that made me realise how much I miss using my brain. Uh, listen, no offence, but, um, aren't you a bit old? Don't see why. I'm not too old for any other job. Yeah, but teaching is so demanding. You don't think I could hack it? I didn't say that. No, it's a fair point. I don't know if I could, but I'd like to try. And I think I was a good teacher. Ten years ago? It was five, actually. I'm sorry, I just think you're mad if you think you can just walk straight back into a classroom. No, you're right. Crazy idea. Forget I said it. Telling you, you go around there in the middle of the day while her husband's out, and you'll end up in bed. You think I'm that fickle? You think I've got no willpower whatsoever? When it's offered to you on a plate? No. Nothing will happen because I won't let it. Oh yeah. If you say so. <sighs> got to end it, Steve, because it just feels wrong. I know, I know. It's a tricky situation. You're gonna have to go about it carefully. Yeah, let it down gently. Yeah, I will. And above all, remember she's a customer. You what? Well, just because you're not available for Nookie doesn't mean you can't do airport runs. Theatre trips. Weddings. Christenings. You don't show any interest in what he's doing. You never give him any encouragement. Look, we're honest with each other. We speak our minds. It's just the way we are. We're happy like that. I'm more romantic than you are, and I'm 67 years old. And I bet you haven't got him a card for tomorrow, have you? Why, what's tomorrow? February the 14th, Valentine's oh, Day. We're past all that. See? Everything's too much effort. It's no wonder he nearly went off with that Anita. Are you sure you wouldn't consider taking over the house for me, Steve? Richard, I've already got a business to run. Oh, shut up. All you do is sit with your feet up in that office half the time. Karen! Look, I mean, I would make it worth your while. I could do without the grief. I mean, I'm not even really looking for a contractor as such. I mean, more of a consultant, really. I mean, I've got the men. They're just sitting on their backsides waiting for someone to tell them what to do next. I mean, should I do it? Cos, uh, I like telling people what to do, don't I, darling? All right, right. I'll go and have a look. Would you? I'd be ever so grateful. Well, I can see neither of you two are going to get me back until I do. Look, um, I I've got to go to this inquest in half an hour. Um, I'll give you a set of spare keys. You could go and check the place out. Thanks. Ta-da. Ah, now then, Blanche. Oh. Uh, that's uh, £1.70, love. Shall I write the address on the envelope to disguise the handwriting? Ah, but then you'd find out who it's to, and we don't want that, do we? <laughs> and they say romance is dead. Oh, not dead, but it might need a little uh, resuscitation. <laughs> I see you. All right, all right, don't snatch. Yeah, well, I'm after the job pages. You've got to be quick. They go like a shot. Oh, 
You've uh, parted company with Kevin, so, then? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Here we go. Experienced mechanic required for a local Weatherfield family business. Excellent rates of pay. Please call on 715 three... Oh, good. It's in. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's the only flaming ad in there. I thought he was crying out for good mechanics. <laughs> you got to be trustworthy. Look, Kevin, I know you're not going to give me a second chance, but there's no need to rub it in. I'm not. Yeah, you are. You won't even do me a reference. I'm supposed to get a job without that, eh? OK, you're right. I know I said I'd do you one on a will. It's just an odd time, OK? I thought it were only kids who bought Valentine's these days. Don't. I'm doing it under duress. Just so <laughs> my mother can't call me a killjoy. Well, funnily enough, she was in earlier buying one herself. Oh, yes. That's because I can't be trusted. She playing uh, Cupid? <laughs> Silly beggars, more like. Well? Accidental death. Right. Well, that's what we thought they'd say. Still a tragedy, though, isn't it? Can't help thinking if only I'd been there, maybe I could have done something. Hey, come on. Can I get you a brandy? Oh, yes, please. Large one. Oh, I've, uh, I've just found a flat for you. Where? Uh, it's round the corner. Dead handy for work. <sighs> Dead handy for lairs. Well, where exactly? Victoria Street. And it's definitely up for end? Well, it's definitely empty. Doug is off flat. Oh, no. Well, come on, you could do worse. Think about it. Work. Sure. <clears throat> right, I've uh, been at the house, I've had a look. And? There's nothing I can't handle. What, so, so you may be interested? Well, you have got the capital to see the job through, haven't you? Oh, don't worry about that. OK, then I'll do it. But just as a consultant. What's it going to cost me? A one off fee. See through it completion. How am I? Paying? Well, under the limit. You haven't heard the rest of my demands. What are they? Well, it's just that Karen's got her eye on one of these flats, so I want first option on one of them. Be my guest. And if I buy it, I want 10% below valuation. 5% you got a deal. 7% I'll start some money. OK. You drive a hard bargain. Supply and demand. Right. Let's talk money. Blimey. You get over the ordeal of the inquest quickly. Well... Didn't know him as well as you did, though, did he? Look, I'm sorry, mate. It's just I'm snowed under there. Look, try Bridge Street Motors. Yeah, you're welcome. See ya. I'm turning customers away. This is daft. No response from the advert, then? None with the right experience, no. Well, we'll give it time. Look, I can't cope. I've got to get somebody in soon, otherwise I'm going to end up losing customers. Well, I was going to ask if you fancied a spot of lunch, but <laughs> I think you've answered my question. Hey, look, you couldn't give us an hand, could you? I don't know anything about cars. No, look, Tyrone's been mithering for a reference. I just haven't had the spare minute. I can't write his reference. You can if I tell you what to put. Please. Uh, Vic, to base. Um, I'm at Mrs. Wilding's house, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Back in a few hours, more like. Yeah, cheers, Steve. She'll have you up them stairs faster than you can say, Roger, Roger. Steve, I'd appreciate it if you didn't broadcast details of a private life over the radio. Over. <laughs> Sorry. keys, anyone? Anyone coming clear? Sofa keys. In. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Vic, you've got the wrong idea. I just want to talk to you, that's all. Five minutes? Uh, 
your husband out? Uh, yes, he'll be back about five. Um, would you like a coffee? Uh, yeah. Go on, then. Look, uh, I know how it must look, me pestering you to come round here all the time, but... Uh... No, uh, I would have come round earlier. In fact, I nearly did, but... But what? Well, what we did the other week. I just don't think we should make habit of it. <laughs> and you think I do? Well, I don't think you invited me round here because you wanted a taxi. You must think I'm some sort of sex maniac. Uh, no, no, no. A bored housewife who gets her kicks by having it away with taxi drivers. She doesn't even know what was her doing. Look, Vic, um, don't get me wrong, I, I think you're a very sexy guy, but I'm just not like that. You seem to enjoy it at the time. I have never done anything like that before in my life. I, I don't know what came over me. I... Yeah, well, I don't exactly get women like you jumping in the back of my cab every day. I'm really ordinary. I'm very normal, down to earth. And you think I'm mad? I just don't understand. What do you want? To talk to you. I, I want to explain. I, I don't want you getting the wrong idea about me. How do you take your coffee? Kevin! He's achieved level two in modern apprenticeship in motor vehicles and he's studying hard for level three. Yeah. You better put his mind of information on cars and he's always up to the date on the latest technology, something like that, anyway. Right. Anything else? Um, what about he's a conscientious worker, uh, he's a good timekeeper? He's a terrible timekeeper. Mind you, he does always make it up and he's good with customers. Kev. Kev, if he's really this good, can you really afford to let him go? Oh, come on, Molly. He tried fiddling the MOTs. Yeah, yeah, and he's learnt his lesson now. Look, I can't trust him. I can't cope, he says. I'm turning work away, he says. Here. Imagine that's from somebody else. What would you do then, eh? You're right. I don't know what you like. I don't know anything about you. No. Oh, no, I do know something about you. I know that you're married. Look, I'm sorry about John getting in the cab that day. He ordered it. I, I didn't even know it was your firm. Yeah, look, right, it doesn't matter. Did you think I'd done it deliberately? That I was living dangerously? No. But it just made me realise that I don't want to get mixed up with a married woman. <laughs> and I don't want to get involved with the young minicab driver. I don't want to get involved with anybody. What? It's just hard to believe that you're the same woman that only a couple of weeks ago was... Tearing your clothes off. Mm. Well, believe me, I'm a lot more like this than I am like that. So why'd you do it? I don't know. Maybe it was because I'd never done anything like that before. Because you were bored? Not bored, no. <laughs> Don't have time to get bored. Got a family to look after. Nice house. So. Hmm. Yeah, very nice house. Happily married. And... <laughs> well, as happy as he can be after 21 years. Look, if you're trying to say that it was a one-off, never to be repeated... That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Well, that's cool by me. Yeah? Yeah. Cos I've never done anything like what we did in the hotel before, either. No? Never. Good fun, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Well, you've cheered up, I must say. Oh, Steve taking over the house has taken a great weight off my mind. Hey, 
Why don't we go out for a meal tonight? I feel as I've been cooped up here for days. Great idea. I'll have to go home straight afterwards, though, mind. Uh, I've got a client first thing in the morning. I've got no clean clothes. You know, it does seem silly, you two in and fro in like this. I mean, you're here practically all the time. Yeah, I know. But it's not a great time to broach it with the kids, is it? I mean, I'm not exactly great company at the moment, am I? Which is why it's a perfect time. I want you here. I hate thinking of you on your own. And it's not as if it's a sudden decision, is it? I mean, it's what we've both wanted for months. Right. What? Well, I'm still worried about what the kids might say. Correction. What David might say. Hmm. Well, why don't we talk to them and see where it gets us? So have you been a cabbie for long? A uh, couple of years, nearly. Thanks. You're not like most taxi drivers. You seem quite posh. Not posh. Educated. I went to uni for a while. Studied accountancy. My eldest son, um, he's at Teesside. Ah. You've got a kid at university. Second year. Blimey, so, um, he's what? About my age? Uh, Nineteen. Well, you don't look old enough to have a 19-year-old son. Yeah, right. I mean it. You look fantastic. So, um... How old's your girlfriend? Twenty. Is it serious? She thinks it is. And you? I just feel like I'm drifting along. I can talk to you much more easily than I can talk to her. Yeah. Yeah, the magic wore off for me and John a long time ago, too. It just feels like we've got nothing in common. You know, she keeps talking about these injections that you get to get rid of your frown lines. <laughs> Botox injections. I've thought about them. Mind you, they'd need a blooming big syringe. You shouldn't put yourself down so much. You're a very attractive woman. Well, it's very nice of you to say so. I mean it. Look, I'm not being funny, but uh, John will be back soon. Yeah, I should be going anyway. A bit like going to see the bank manager, this. A bit daft. Don't need their permission. We're the adults, they're the kids. Yeah, I suppose you're right. So, uh, how are we going to do this, then? Well, we'll just tell them what we've been thinking. Better coming from you, though. Better coming from both of us. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be fine. Come on, then. Let's get it over. <clears throat> uh, David, will you uh, turn the telly down a minute, please? Oh, Mum, I really want to watch this. Well, please, there's something that me and Richard want to talk to you about. Oh, now what? I would really like Richard to move in with us. And uh, I, I would really like to move in. And we wondered what you thought about it. Oh. Fine by me. Yeah? yeah? David? He's around here all the time anyway. Can't say it'll make much difference. Go and put Tully back on now. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd sooner we talked about Shh. it. I think we should quit while we're ahead. You know, I, uh, I think I owe you an apology. Why? Well, you've, you've obviously thought long and hard about going back into teaching, and I, I just poured cold water all over oh, it. I was hoping you'd be a little more encouraging. I suppose I, I see it as a step backwards. Pushing trolleys is a step backwards. Besides, I didn't give up teaching because I didn't enjoy it anymore. You're still keen on the idea, then? Look, I've got less than five years before they pension me off. And I'd like to spend that time doing something really worthwhile. I know. And you'll be brilliant at it. <laughs> hey, excuse me, you. <laughs> hey, how's the job hunting going? Lousy, unless you want to drive to Bolton every day. Uh, still not found a job, then? No. Good. 
Look, Kev, I know you sacked me, but trying to stop me getting another job, that's well out of order. Hey, hang on a minute, will you? No, there's no point in denying it. You won't even do me a reference. They do. Today. Well, where is it? In the bin. What? Look, you're a good mechanic, Tyrone. I should know. I train you. So why should someone else get the benefit? What are you trying to say? Oh, just tell him, Kevin, will you? Well, you can have your job back, starting tomorrow on a trial basis. You put one foot wrong. No, I won't, Kev, honestly. Cheers, mate, thanks. Hey, it's not me you've got to thank. It's Molly here. She made me go soft. Thanks, Molly. Hey, group hug. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no in here for us. Not round here, anyway. I hope we find some soon. I can't see Steve MacDonald putting up with me much longer. Maybe we should just have a look at Dougie's. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. Well, I don't see why. He didn't actually die there. And like Steve says, it would be handy. Go on, then. Don't do any harm to look. Exactly. Well, I've uh, practically told you my life story. Aren't you supposed to get to know somebody before you sleep with them? <laughs> yeah, well. So, yeah. I think. And don't forget, I'm uh, available. Airport runs, theatre bookings. No, Vic. No. Please, Vic, please, Hazel. I want you to go. Please, just go. 